Mavro. 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 Ooh. I remember one time I felt discriminated. Um, I was actually having intercourse with someone. And you know when you have your breaks in between intercourse. Mm -hmm. Um, and the person we was having com we was having conversation, and the person basically said to me that if I was to lose weight and be skinnier, that they wouldn't even be able to have sex with me again. Don't really know what they meant by that, but I believe they meant that if I was to go to the gym and lose weight and tone up, that I would be out of their league. So it basically means that my weight keeps them. And they're not even ugly. I hear that, I hear that. Mm. But yeah, with me, I've sort of been discriminated like on a first date. So um, you know when you have like a first date, you ask each other like, oh, what do you do like, mm -hmm. for a living and so on? So I basically said like, right, like I'm a, I work in a university. Um, and then she's she's gone like, right, like I thought like, like it doesn't look like something you would do. Mm. And I'm like, why that? And she's like, right, don't seem like you would have a degree. I said, hmm? <laughs> like, no, I agree that is like- Do you like, have a degree? Yeah, of course, come on. Two, one and that, get to know. But yeah, like obviously she was like, oh, you look like a drug dealer. Uh, okay. I was like, why? She was like, like the way you dress, the way you come across. I'm like, because I've dressed a certain way, it don't mm. mean, you know I mean? I might have done certain things in my past, but I don't mean like, um. so that's the yeah, where I sort of felt discriminated and it's sort of annoying because where I do certain things and I work in mm. an um, educational institution, why would you think that I'm, um, like a drug dealer or a fraud boy or one of them things. It don't really make sense. And that shit sort of annoys me, innit? What do you think you can do to like go against being discriminated or even someone thinking, oh, you look like a drug dealer? Do you think that's No, something what it is do? like, I could dress maybe a different way, but the way I dress is me, innit? Mm -hmm. So it represents myself. So I would never change that. Um, but it's just, I don't think you should judge a book by its cover. Yeah. So it's one of them ones where you need to get to know the person before you sort of judge them. So today we're going to be talking about discrimination within dating. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the topics I really want to talk about is, especially within gay culture, I have a lot of gay friends who talk to me about within apps like Grindr, there's so much discrimination. Yeah. Um, people putting on their like profiles that they don't want to see any fats, any femmes, any blacks and any like Asians. And it's like a huge issue because, you know, within this culture, like within the gay scene, like there's so much like minority groups yeah. and these people come together to and kind they all of celebrate included, that. Included, yeah. yeah, exactly. And like, it just makes me feel really sad that there is a side of it that is not as... Because you're already like feeling like a minority and then trying to push people out. Yeah. And they're just trying to feel included. It's just... Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I, I really struggle with that. And um, I kind of feel like these these spaces should be more inclusive to everyone and, yeah, and all of that should be kind of controlled what you write on your profile because if you're thinking like that then you shouldn't even be on this planet that's what I mean and if you're <laughs> it's on 2020 app, what are you doing exactly and if you're on the app it means that you should want to meet different types yeah. of people as well so yeah exactly Marvel. Marvel.